dressed like a princess. Cody here from Movie Losers, back with another review. This time, I saw Beauty and the Beast, directed by Bill Condon, director of such hits as Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn Part 1, and the unforgettable Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn Part 2. And let me tell you what, this is a fantastic fantasy movie, that's why I'm drinking a Fanta, put it together, and you're gonna wanna take your kids, your wife, your husband, it's a family experience. Very enjoyable music. Uh, <laughs> very enjoyable movie. Top to bottom, the set design, the music's great, the choreography, the costumes. Shot beautifully, directed really well, well performed. Lumiere was actually performed by Ewan McGregor. I couldn't believe it. Uh, Ian McKellen plays Cogsworth. Top to bottom, just a stellar cast. Uh, I mean, it, what more is there to say? You know what you're getting into. It's a remake of the 1991. Best Picture nominee, Beauty and the Beast, of the, the same name. And look, it's about bestiality. Straight up. They don't shy away from it. I mean, things get weird. But once you look past that, it's a really enjoyable family film. A couple dark moments. But I think you can take your kids to it if you have those. I don't. The theater was packed Thursday night. It got a round of, round of applause at the round. It got a round of applause at the end. Gaston's played by Luke Evans, Bard the Bowman. And his uh, psychic, really funny, played by Josh Gad, I don't know the character's name. Disney did it again last year with Jungle Book, the year before with Cinderella, and soon a live-action Lion King's happening, or like a digital one. So I think they're batting 100 right now. Or wait, is it 1,000? They're batting 1,000. And Emma Watson was just... I mean, she's just magical. She's gorgeous, can sing. Just a beautiful movie. That's the best way to describe it, just a beautiful film. I'm gonna give it a 4 out of 5, and I'm gonna give bestiality, well, a 0 out of 5. Don't try it. You'll go to prison.